evaluate the following limits. In part A, we have limit of x to the fifth plus 1 over x plus 1 as x tends to negative 1. If we plug in x equals negative 1 directly here, what are we going to get? Negative 1 to the fifth. That's negative 1 plus 1, 0 over negative 1 plus 1, 0. So we have 0 over 0. That means we can use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit. By the way, 0 over 0 is not 0 and this is not the answer. Okay, let's use L'Hopital's rule. For that I write LH just to show I'm using L'Hopital's rule. So what we do, we just find the derivative of the top on the top and derivative of the bottom on the bottom. So x to the fifth, that will be 5x to the fourth plus derivative of 1 is 0. No need to write. Derivative of x plus 1 is 1. Now, if we plug x equals negative 1 in here, we are not going to get 0 over 0 because 1 on the bottom. So let's plug in x equals negative 1 now. 5 times negative 1 to the fourth divided by 1 does not count. Negative 1 to the fourth is just positive 1 times 5 is 5. Okay. Let's go to the next question. In part B, we have limit of x times tangent 2 over x when x goes to infinity. If we plug in x equals infinity, we get infinity times tangent 2 over infinity. That's 0. And tangent 0 is 0. So we have an indeterminate form, infinity times 0. And by the way, this is not equal to 0. What we do is now we make a fraction in the hope of using L'Hopital's rule. So let's move x to the bottom in this way. So try, we are trying to write this as a fraction. So tangent 2 over x on the top and on the bottom x, when we keep on the bottom that becomes 1 over x. Like when we have a times b, that is same as b over 1 over a. When we simplify this fraction, this becomes b times a or a times b. Same thing. Now, let's see. When we plug in infinity, 1 over infinity, that's 0 on the bottom. And tangent 2 over infinity, tangent 0 is 0. So we have 0 over 0. That means this limit, we can use the L'Hopital's rule for this limit. And using L'Hopital's rule, we get, let's skip limit. We find the derivative of top on the top and derivative of bottom on the bottom. 1 over x, when we find the derivative of 1 over x, you can find over here. That is same as x raised to negative 1 derivative and this becomes negative 1 over x squared. Okay, just try on your own. On the top, derivative of something, derivative of tangent something. Derivative of tangent is secant square, this inside function. This is tangent of something. That means we need to use the chain rule. Derivative of outer function tangent is secant square inside times derivative of inside, derivative of 2 over x. So 2 over x derivative is same as we can pull 2 outside and 1 over x which is same as x raised to negative 1. Find the derivative. 2 we can pull outside. It's like xn. Derivative of xn is n x n minus 1. And this is x raised to negative 2. Put that on the bottom. So negative 2 over negative 2 over x square. Okay. Now we can cancel a couple of things from top and bottom before we try for the limit. Look at x square, x square cancel, negative times negative cancel, negative and negative cancel or they become positive. Okay, so this 2 we can pull all the way outside and limit x going to infinity of uh, negative negative cancel. 
so there is nothing left on the bottom so just secant square 2 over x okay let's plug in x equals infinity so that's 2 secant square 2 over infinity 2 over infinity is 0 so secant square 0 secant square 0 2 times secant 0 we know that secant is reciprocal of cosine so secant is same as 1 over cosine so cosine is square 0 and we know cosine 0 cosine 0 is 1 square means 1 is square just 1 1 over 1 is 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 so 2 is the final answer okay